Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys. Chances are if you've looked for a wireless headset for Xbox, you've probably come across the Turtle Beach Stealth series. Last year we did a video comparing the 600 and 700 to the SteelSeries Arctis 9X, which got a lot of views, but today we're taking a look at the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2 for Xbox. The Stealth 600 is one of the best-selling wireless headsets in the world, and so Turtle Beach has refreshed both the 600 and the 700 with some new great features. So how does it stack up? Well, let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So first up, Turtle Beach has refreshed both the 600 and 700 for PlayStation and Xbox. And don't worry, the Xbox versions are supposed to also work on the new upcoming next generation Series X and I would imagine Series S as well. You can see here with the Stealth 600, we have the black version, uh, but there is also a white version available as well. So depending on whether or not you have the Xbox Series X or Series S, you could get one to match that perfectly. Continuing with the design, Turtle Beach hasn't really strayed too far from the first generation of the Stealth 600. There's a similar large break in the middle of the ear cup, which allows the can to tilt, and they can also pivot to lay flat against your collarbones as well. The design is mostly blacked out, but as you can see on the Xbox version, it does have that green Xbox color on here as well. All of the buttons, lights, and plugs are located on the left ear cup. One of the biggest differences between the second generation and the first generation is the USB Type-C plug. Moving further up the edge of the ear cup, there are buttons to sync to the Xbox, power button, a mode button, and individual dials for game volume and chat volume. And while the two buttons share a similar design and shape, uh, because one is kind of flat and the other one protrudes more, it's easy to tell which one is which when you're using your hand while gaming to try to make some adjustments to your headset. As far as comfort, with the large wide headband here with the leatherette cushion on top and the padded ear cups as well, I found the Stealth 600 to be pretty comfortable. That said, it isn't quite as comfortable as the Arctis 9X that I have been using. Uh, that even out of the box, like the ear cups just felt already broken in and it had a very soft feel to it. The Stealth 600 feels a little more rigid, um, the ear cups are a little more stiff, and the headset itself just feels a little bit more stiff overall. And maybe that'll break in over time, but another thing to consider is that the Arctis 9X is still $200, so it's twice the price of the Stealth 600 Generation 2. Another cool update with the design here, as you can see with the microphone, it actually blends into the body here when it's pushed up and out of the way. And so it does have an auto mute feature when you raise it up, but you can just pull it down and get it into position, and then you're ready to communicate with your teammates. And then when you push it up, if you get it about halfway, you'll hear and feel a click, and it'll give you an audible cue to let you know that it's muted. And then if you're just done using it, you can push it all the way up and out of the way. When plugging it into a PC with the USB-C port and using the Turtle Beach app, you can make some adjustments to mic monitoring or side tone. I wasn't able to make this adjustment without plugging it into my PC, uh, but if you do have a computer, it is very simple to do. All right, now moving on to one of the features that was really popular with the first generation Stealth 600, and I'm sure it's just gonna be as popular with the generation two, and that is the superhuman hearing mode. By just pressing the power button once, this mode is enabled to enhance audio and make it easier to pick out sounds like reloads, footsteps, or other environmental cues that would tickle your spidey sense and let you know that opponents are near. And while it does take away from the natural sound of most games, it actually does a great job of kind of compressing all those sounds and just bringing everything forward and making it a lot easier to hear footsteps. And in my experience, depending on the game, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I was playing Battlefield 4, an oldie but a goodie, and there's just so much going on in that game with teammates yelling, opponents yelling, gunfire explosions, vehicles, footsteps. Uh, it was almost too much. Uh, it brought everything you know, forward so I could hear everything, and it was a little bit overwhelming. But in other games like PUBG, where you know even the slightest little noise can let you know that an opponent is in the next building, uh, this is very crucial. I've seen comments where people talking about how this is such a great feature in PUBG, so if you are playing you know, competitive battle royale games, you're probably gonna really love the superhuman hearing mode. But even without that mode, I found the Stealth 600 Gen 2 to sound great. Explosions are powerful, while footsteps and gunshots are clear and easy to hear. Positioning is impressive as well, and made it easy to pick out enemies' locations when playing Battlefield 4 or Destiny 2. The Stealth 600 Gen 2 also has four different EQ modes, so by pressing that mode button once, you can toggle between those four different modes. Those are Signature Sound, Bass Boost, Bass and Treble Boost, and Vocal Boost. 
So depending on what kind of game you're playing, you can cycle through those and figure out what sounds best. I did most of my listening on the default signature sound mode and really enjoyed the sound that was coming out. As far as battery life, Turtle Beach claims 15 hours, which I would agree is pretty similar in my experience, but it's also super easy to recharge with that USB Type-C plug. So overall for $100, the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2 is a great successor to the wildly popular first generation. It sounds great, feels good, and that superhuman hearing mode is gonna be really popular with competitive players. And that'll wrap up our review of the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. Bye.